For half a century, they've been making the Mount Panorama pilgrimage, where once a year the sleepy New South Wales country town of Bathurst comes to life. And in 2012, the Revhead revellers have swarmed the Mount in record numbers. Perfect conditions for race day with the Ford of Will Davison drawing first blood, capturing pole to lead them off the line. Will Davison gets a good start, but Paul Dumbrell has outpaced him. And Dumbrell is going to go side by side with his mate into turn one. Jamie Wincup's co-driver going head to head with the pole sitter through the first few corners with neither wishing to yield. Down the inside goes Will Davison. Dumbrell left through. The field through without incident. Shane Van Gisbergen on the move. On the inside of Dumbrell, so Van Gisbergen moves up a spot. By the time they found their rhythm, it was Ford's one and two. Craig Loud's co-driver Warren Luff would be forced to pit after just ten laps due to tyre degradation, but he wasn't the only one with tyre problems. And listen to that. That's a, that's a tyre flailing. Mark Winterbottom forced to pit. And when a mechanical halted Johnny Reed at the cutting on lap 20, it would send the leaders in for the first change. Very good drive, Will Davison. Nick Perkhat would come to grief, seemingly ending Garth Tander's challenge. What a disaster. The reigning champion wheeled into the pit box, and just as Jamie Wincup took the top spot, debris on the track forced another halt, and they'd all dive into the pits on lap 40. Frantic out there at the moment. Jamie Wincup would lead them over the line for the second restart, and over the next 10 laps, open up a huge advantage over Will Davison's co-driver. That's what 13.2 seconds looks like out there on the track. Wincup's gone. So too was Steve Owen. <laughs> Owen would get out of the car unscathed, but his and co-driver Paul Morris's day was done. John McIntyre, the next casualty, running out of room at turn one before the safety car brought the leader in. And here comes the rest of the cavalry. This minor infraction in pit lane would cost Will Davison dearly. The spinning wheels leading to a drive-through penalty. And the pole setter wasn't impressed. With Win Cup enjoying an eight-second lead, David Bernard would thrill the spectators. Hasn't been able to get it turned down at the apex. Restart number four and FPR were in trouble again. One of the FPR cars has been turned around there. With 50 laps remaining, little separated the leaders, but there were still more dramas for Will Davison, shuffling him further down the field. When it rains, it pours. The sixth restart would see new challenges to Jamie Wincup. So one, two and three is Wincup, Reynolds, then Courtney. And then little gap that Scafie's talking about back to Michael Caruso. Craig Lowndes would slowly move his way forward. Greg Murphy, his next target. Good job. Lowndes the quickest on the circuit as he moved past Rick Kelly into seventh. But with less than 30 laps remaining, playing catch-up would cost Will Davison dearly. How's this? Oh, my God, that is so fast. Jamie Wincup had led for the majority of the race, but as they neared the final 20 laps, the pressure began to mount. Jamie Wincup in first, and Courtney's flying. It soon round up David Reynolds. And here comes Courtney down the inside, puts a move on and makes it stick. James Courtney closing fast as the race leader looked to conserve fuel. All fuel, please, mate. Do what you can. You're doing a fantastic job. But Wincup would get a reprieve as Courtney struck a tyre problem. We can see the rubber coming off it. So he'll have to come in. He'd stay on track and eventually fall victim to David Reynolds. This is wild. This is wild. And he gets it done. Well done. That's a very, very brave move. Reynolds soon looming large in Wincup's rear vision. Oh, and again, almost moment. missed it. But Wincup would desperately hold Reynolds off as his teammate surged into third. He's going to have a look at the final turn on the inside. Lounge oh, will oh. take the position, but can Chris he hold it? And he does hold they would all come down to a final lap sprint. Oh, big, oh! big slide for Wincup. He just barely hang on to a thing. They've both done a remarkable job. Only seven drivers have won four or more Bathurst Championships. Today, Jamie Wincup joins the greats. He gets his oh. fourth. Paul Dumbrell gets his first. And David Reynolds on the podium. A whisker away from victory in a classic 2012. After more than six hours of racing, just three tenths of a second separated the top two, sparking delirious scenes from the Holden faithful. David Reynolds, the only splash of blue in the top six. Craig Lowndes claiming third to move into second in the championship. Now comes the party celebration, Dumbrell and Wink Cup. David Murdoch, Big Pond Sport.